So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 26th tutorial for Angular in which we're going to take a look at the output decorator and how we can actually send some values from the child component to the parent component using event emitter in Angular. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much limited to Angular for now because that is actually a part of Node and it's not really available as JavaScript so angular makes use of event emitter you can also also make use of observables something known as observables which we're going to take a look at later on but right now we're going to stick with event emitter and uh, making use of one of its method to send some data okay so now first things first we need to write an output like that and uh, say something like uh, or we can just leave it and say let's just say my output value and you need to import the output and the event emitter so what we want to do is set this output value to new event emitter and in this way this output value would be a new event emitter and now what i'm going to do is with my output value i'm going to say this dot my output value dot emit now what this emit would do is that it would emit the value to the parent component of the of this child component which in our case is just the app component so we can say any value something like uh, hello from the child and then finally we can listen for this emitter inside our parent component we do not really need to subscribe to this event or do anything like that to listen to that we just have to create this method which would be my output value which just matches this same emitter name so we can say something like not here my output value and uh, console.log uh, got some text and how do we actually listen for this well to listen for this what we need to do is just right here where you're passing this you can register for it my output value is and actually it might create a confusion so we can just change this to awesome method right there so this value right here my output value and the child component event emitter value should match if you are not passing anything in the parenthesis so i'm going to say this is awesome method and finally we can pass in the event object so we actually get the data which is being sent by the user from this emit method okay so what the heck is going on here well firstly we defined this output decorator with my output value as a new event emitter now this my output value allows us to emit some values to the parent component in ng on in it which is just fired after the component is initialized we emit a value of hello from the child and uh, we are already listening for this particular value we are already subscribing or not really subscribing but uh, just like we used to make use of square brackets for echoing we are using circular brackets for events and we are listening for this event my output value and once this is hit I want to call this awesome method with the event object passed in it now for the awesome method what we are doing is that we get this event and we can finally just say something like this and if we take a look you can see that we get hello from the child got some text right here which is what we were expecting so yeah that is how pretty much you would make use of an output decorator to work with event emitters and actually with your angular application and uh, if you're not cleared about this don't stress it a lot because we're going to develop a simple application with both of them in use soon so it will just clear out the things a little bit more or maybe you can just watch the tutorial again it might help you to understand how this output and input event emitters are working and again you can make use of something like this and then say my bad output just in case you want to have a different variable name it will still work just fine just like usual right so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one